hey guys i hope that i'm live right now if you guys are able to listen to me properly as well as there's no issues with the audio or the video please let me know hello everyone i hope that i'm live right now guys if you guys are able to listen to me properly as well as there's no issues with the audio or the video please let me know good evening everyone good evening everyone good evening hello everyone hello hello if you guys are able to listen to me properly as well as there's no issues with the audio or the video please let me know Hello everyone. Good evening. Good evening. I hope that everybody is able to listen to me properly as well as there's no issues with the audio or the video. Please let me know. Here, am I audible? Right, guys. Great. Awesome. Awesome. So, uh, welcome to this particular boot camp of uh, HTML, CSS that we are going to have from today. Okay. Uh, this bootcamp is going to be of uh, the next seven days in which we are going to learn everything related to front end web development, HTML, CSS, creating websites using HTML and CSS. And at the end, we are going to do a simple project that is creating the Facebook login page using HTML and CSS. The exact same Facebook login page that you guys use right now to log into your uh, Facebook account itself. That is what we are going to do in this particular bootcamp guys. The best part about this bootcamp is you don't need to know anything from the start. You don't need to know what is programming. You don't need to know what is HTML, what is CSS. You don't need to know what is web development as well. We'll be starting from the utmost basics guys. Okay. We'll be starting from the utmost basics and we'll be learning everything in the class itself for the same guys okay even the project as well you will be able to do the entire project even if you don't have a laptop you don't have a laptop you don't have a computer you don't have to worry about it you'll be able to do the exact same project you will also be able to practice along with me even if you are having a smartphone if you are having a smartphone you will be able to write all the projects all the code create the entire project as well that is something that is a guarantee from my end okay so uh everybody welcome to this bootcamp guys so i will start by introducing myself to you guys uh so first let me introduce the bootcamp to you guys right so like i said we will be learning html css we'll be doing one project as well the best part about this bootcamp is that there will be two things first there's no cost associated with this bootcamp right there is no cost associated with this bootcamp guys. The bootcamp is completely free. Even the certificates as well are completely free guys. The only thing that is necessary for you guys to participate in this particular session is your dedication to the classes. Coming to the classes right over here, attending the classes live, learning right over here. That is the only prerequisite that is required. Okay. Now about the certificates itself. So this bootcamp has been brought to you in collaboration with Google and Microsoft. So at the end of this bootcamp, you will be receiving three certificates associated with this particular bootcamp guys. The first certificate that you will be receiving will be from Dev Townsend. The certif uh, certificate that you will be uh, re uh, receiving right over here will be from Google Developer Students Club. And the third particular certificates that you will be receiving at the end of this session will be from Microsoft Student Learn Ambassador Program. So let me show you guys some of the certificates that you will be receiving. So usually the students who receive our student uh, certificates posted up on LinkedIn. So I'm just going to show you guys that itself. So as we're able to see right over here, I'm just going into my LinkedIn account. And I'm just opening up my uh, uh, LinkedIn account itself. I'm just going to search for uh, one of the students who have posted all the certificates. Let me just see if there is a student who has posted all the certificates at once. So yeah, the student has posted just uh, except the Deftown certificate. He has posted all the certificates. No issues in that. So for example, this student, uh, I think so, uh, has participated in the 
DevOps Bootcamp that we had recently. So I learned DevOps about web development. So we'll be receiving the exact same uh, certificates as of this particular kit, just in front end development using HTML and CSS. So this is the Google certificate that you will be receiving at the end of this particular bootcamp guys. That is the seven days bootcamp. Then uh, this is the certificate that you will be receiving from Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador Program. Uh, that is the certificate that you will be receiving from Microsoft. And the third certificate, he has not posted it up for uh, the DevTown certificate. I don't know why. So this particular certificate, uh, the student has posted the DevTown certificate right over here. So this is the certificate that you will be receiving from DevTown's end at the end of this session. From starting point where you don't even know what is web development, what is front end development or uh, everything else as well. We'll be starting from the utmost scratch. We'll be learning the technologies like HTML, CSS in depth. And then we are going to make a project as well. That is the Facebook login page that you can also create and put it up on your resume. And then you'll be receiving these three certificates at the end of the bootcamp that you can put up on your resumes as well, guys. That will be the entire gist of the bootcamp that you are currently participating in. The entire bootcamp as well as the entire certificates are for free. You will not be having any costs associated with this. Okay. So, uh, that is the entire, uh, introduction to the bootcamp itself guys. Okay. So Umesh, uh, the certificates for the AWS bootcamp that has just ended yesterday will be sent in two to three days as you are able to see in the pinned comments that you are able to see right over here, right? So the AWS bootcamp is over and the certificates for that will be sent in two to three days itself. So you will be able to see the pinned comment that I've already pinned up for the information right over there. Okay. So coming to this particular bootcamp itself, guys, uh, let me introduce myself to you guys. First of all, so my name is Shara Sina and uh, I will be taking up your entire seven days of uh, bootcamp right over here. Okay. Uh, in this, uh, so a little bit backstory about me. So I started out my journey as a data analyst intern. So in the second year of my college, I got a data analyst internship in Reliance industries. In the third year of my college, I got a data scientist internship, uh, in geo. So I worked in geo for six months as a data scientist for my first job. I got placed into Google as an explore ML lead. That is a machine learning lead right over there. Uh, after completing, uh, like after working Google for almost 14, 15 months, I decided to change my career into full stack web development. I started learning about front end web development, back end development, DevOps cloud. Uh, I've worked with various different, uh, startups as well. I've also, uh, worked with various different companies. I'm currently a software engineer in Fosnil. Uh, I've trained more than 10,000 students. We have placed more than 7,000 students as well in DevTown. So that is a little bit of backstory about me. So that I've taken up more than 500 boot camps until this point of time in the past three years, we have taken up more than five hundred boot camps up to this point of time. So, uh, I think so you will be able to, um, uh, like love right over here, uh, what you are learning. Okay. So let's get started with our program guys, right? Shall we start with our program guys? I don't want to waste any more time. Shall we, uh, start the program guys, please let me know. So, uh, to get the certificates. For the seven days, I will be taking up attendance live in the class. Okay. In the class itself, live, I will be taking up your attendance. You will have to fill up the attendance live in the class every single day for seven days to get your certificates. Now, how will I be giving you guys the attendance? How will be the attendance taken up? How, where to fill up the attendance? All these questions I'll be answering at the end of the session itself, guys. Okay. I'll be answering all these questions at the end of the session or related to attendance. So if anybody is asking these questions, like where is the attendance, how to fill up the attendance, just let them know that at the end of the session, I will be letting you guys know about it. Okay. The third particular thing that is there is guys that, uh, during the session, please do focus upon the class. There's a lot to learn right over here. The sessions will be of 60 to 90 minutes long. Every single day, the session will start at the exact same time. And the session will be 60 to 90 minutes long. Will that be fine guys? Please let me know. So today is the first session. So first session will be just of 60 minutes to make sure that you guys are habituated to the classes and you guys know how the classes are going to happen. But from uh, the next particular days, the sessions will be of 60 to 90 minutes guys. Will that be fine with everybody? Please let me know. Right? Great guys. Awesome. Also many of the students will be asking the same repeated question again and again. Just do help them out with that guys. It helps me to focus upon the class itself. Okay. 
Okay, great guys, amazing. So let's get started with our session. Let me open up my PPT for you guys. Give me a second, guys. Let me find the PPT for you guys first of all. Okay. Give me a second guys, let me find the PPT. I've created a PPT for you guys. So the PPT will be somewhere here itself. There's a lot of PPTs that are there, right? So it will take me a second or two to find the PPT for you guys. Uh, give me a second right over here. Basics of web development. Okay. So today's class will be a little bit theoretical in nature guys, but uh, I'm promising you guys one of the things that from tomorrow onwards, everything will be practical in nature. Okay. From tomorrow onwards, we'll, it will be hands-on, it will be practical. You guys will also be coding along with me. Even if you don't have a laptop or a computer, you don't have to worry about it. I will make sure that you are able to program, you are able to write the code from your mobile phone as well and practice everything. So today's class is a little bit theoretical in nature to make sure that we all are on the same page. And then from tomorrow onwards, we'll start with the practicals itself. So I hope that you guys will be having an amazing time right over here to study. And uh, let's get started right over here. So let me just open up the chat section on the left hand side of my screen so that I'm able to see your chats as well. The PPT will also be provided to you guys. You don't have to worry about it, right? All the resource materials and everything will be provided to you guys. You don't have to worry about it, guys. Okay. Great. Amazing, guys. So first of all, let me know how many of you guys understand what is a web browser, guys? How many of you guys understand? Could you guys give me some examples of web browser? Please be a bit interactive in the class, guys. It helps me a lot to <laughs> make sure that the session is a little bit interactive, right? So give me guys some example of web browsers that you have used up to this point of time, guys. Please let me know. Google Chrome, Brave, Firefox, um, Opera Mini, Great. Any other guys, any other Safari, good, UC mini. Okay. Edge, great guys. Mozilla Firefox, good. Bing. Oh, ho, 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 ho. please try to understand it guys that uh, there is a difference between a search engine and a web browser. Okay, it's a huge difference between the same guys. A search engine, examples of search engine will be Bing. Okay, example of search engine will be google.com. These are search engines, guys. Whereas Bing is made by Microsoft. So that is the search engine by Microsoft. But the web browser by Microsoft is Microsoft Edge. That is the web browser, guys. Similarly, by Google, google.com is the search engine. But Google Chrome is a web browser, guys. There's a big difference between a web browser and a search engine. The search engine is where you go and write stuff that I want. I, I want to learn Python programming and it will show you results right over there. But a web, uh, but a search engine is, at the end of the day is just a website. It is just a website guys. A web browser is a particular application like Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome, where it is an application right over there itself guys. And you open this particular application right over there and you find websites. You open up websites inside of a web browser guys. Okay. So uh, many of you guys might not know about Netscape. Okay. But everybody will be very familiar with Elon Musk, right? How many of you guys are familiar with Elon Musk guys? Please let me know. Many of you guys might not know about Netscape. So I'll start with something that you know about. So Elon Musk, I think so everybody right away here is familiar with Elon Musk, right? So when Elon Musk was in college, he applied to just one particular company for internship where he was rejected. But at that point of time, Elon Musk applying to a particular company for internship and that to just one particular company itself. That's a very big deal. At that point of time, that company was one of the biggest internet companies in the entire world. And that company, my friends, was Netscape. It was the company where Elon Musk applied for an internship and got rejected. So this particular company back in the 1900s, that is 1990s to 2004 or five was the biggest internet company in the entire world itself, guys in the entire world. Okay. Uh, so you guys must be using Google Chrome right now or uh, edge itself or so many different, um, internet, uh, browsers. Okay. Uh, brow browsing that you are able to do right over there. 
So back in 1990s, the only big company that was available right over there was Netscape. Netscape was the original web browser, guys. Uh, started by a particular uh, person. Uh, I forgot the name of that person itself. He's one of the biggest person in the entire world right now. So when he started that public company, he started a company called as Mosaic Web Browser when he was in college. When he came out of college, he re renamed the company to Netscape. Netscape. So uh, in 1990s, Google was not there. Microsoft was not there. These web browsers were not there. So Netscape was the biggest internet browser in the entire world, guys. Uh, as you're able to see, this is one of the web browsers from back in 1994. Okay, this is a web, uh, web browser from 1994, guys. It's a web browser that is almost 20... How many years old is this web browser? 30 years old, 29 to 30 years old. Mark Anderson, thank you so much, Harshit Kapoor. So Mark Anderson was the person who started uh, the Netscape Navigator. But try to understand this. This is a web browser from back in 1994, a 30 year old web browser. And as you're able to see, most of the features of this web browser is the exact same. The features haven't changed a lot. Okay, you are having a button to go to the previous page. You are having a button to the next page itself. You are having a button to go to the home page. You are having a refresh button. You are having a print button. You are having a find button. You are having a URL bar right over here, a location bar where you basically type www.google.com. Okay, this is a window that you are able to see right over here where you are able to watch your website that you want to go to. So as you are able to see, although 30 years have passed, but the basic features of the website above of the web browsers haven't changed a lot. Are you able to see this? That although 30 years have crossed, the basic features of the web browsers haven't changed a lot. Even the current browsers as well provide us with a similar kind of features right now as well. Are you guys able to notice that? Although the underlying Although the underlying technology to create this web browser, the programming languages used to create these web browsers have changed a lot. They have optimized themselves. They are far better. But the basic features of the web browsers haven't changed. Okay, so the concepts related to web development remain the same itself, guys. They don't change with time. The only thing that changes with time right over here is the programming languages is the technologies that are involved right over there. The basic concepts always remain the same. Okay. So no matter what you're learning, if you're learning it properly, if you're conceptually strong right over there itself, then you don't have to worry what language or what technology are you uh, using right over there in the back end. That is what I want you guys to understand. Because although Netscape was one of the biggest internet companies back then, but in 2008, Netscape was closed down. In 2008, Netflix, uh, Netscape was closed down and right now the m biggest web browser out there according to how many people are using it right now is your uh, Google Chrome. That is the biggest right now in the industry according to the pie of people using it. Okay, so that is the concept that I want you guys to understand that the features always remain the same. The concepts always remain the same. The things that is changing is basically the technologies behind it. Okay. Now, any website that you are opening up, whether it be Netflix.com, Facebook.com, Instagram.com, Google.com, any website in the entire world is created using only these three things itself. Any website in this entire world is created using these three things, HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Any website in the entire world guys is created using just these three things. HTML, CSS and JavaScript guys. In this particular bootcamp, our focus will be majorly upon HTML and CSS to learn that to create websites itself. For JavaScript, maybe in the future we'll be having other bootcamps as well so you don't have to worry about it. Okay, so uh, that is something that I want you guys to understand. Now let's start off by learning some basics of HTML, CSS and JavaScript guys just to understand the concepts. From tomorrow onwards, we are going to practice these all practically, learn the entire thing itself. But today, I want you guys to get an intuition 
behind what is html why is it used itself what is its functionality so the basic understanding about html css and javascript i want you guys to have it in today's class just the theoretical concepts clear in your minds that from tomorrow onwards when we are starting with programming in html css you guys are able to grasp it very well okay so html or hypertext markup language guys Okay, hypertext markup language that is a full form of HTML was originally created uh, by some of the colleges researchers in uh, US itself to help share research papers. Now, have you guys seen any research papers at any particular point of time, guys? Please let me know. Have you guys seen any research papers at any particular point of time? Please let me know. Have you guys seen any kind of research papers at any particular point of time, guys? Please let me know. So, if you have not seen a research paper, it is usually just text and nothing else. There is no images, there is no colors, nothing else, guys. Just text and text right over there. Okay. Now, the problem with writing a research paper is that you have to specify from where are you taking reference. Okay, so they have to specify that, okay, this particular paragraph is based on this particular article from this particular newspaper or this particular uh, unit of this particular research paper or this particular uh, page of this particular book itself. So they have to specify that this particular aspect that I've written right over here, where I have taken it from, references. Okay, now let's assume that there was no internet. Okay, let's assume right now. There was no internet itself. I am a research uh, researcher currently present in India and you are a researcher currently present in USA itself. Okay. We are both uh, researchers right over there. I am a researcher from India and you are a researcher from USA. Uh, you want to share your research paper with me. How would you do that? You will write the entire research paper. You will uh, like post it to me in India. Now a research paper coming from US to India will take almost 30 days, minimum 30 days itself. After 30 days, I will research your research paper itself. Now to understand your paper, I need to get all the references that you have talked about, all the other research papers, all the other um, like books, all the other articles and everything else that you have mentioned in your research paper. I have to un uh, get that to understand your research paper. So I'll go to my nearest library, the nearest library to my home. I will go right over there and ask that, okay, I need this particular research paper, this particular book, this particular article itself. The probability of getting it will be very, very, very low. Right guys, the probability of getting all those research papers, all those articles, all those books will be very low itself. Right? So due to this particular reason, Back in that particular time itself, it was very, there was no internet guys. There is no internet right now. How would you mail something? There's no internet, right? So it was very hard for researchers to share their research papers with each other. That is the reason why they came up with the internet or the worldwide web guys. Okay. If you guys are not familiar with it, this is the backstory, the origin of the hero that is the World Wide web. Okay, so what they did was they understood that, okay, I want to share research papers and articles and books, and these need to be connected to each other itself. So what they did was they created something called as HTML, hypertext markup language guys. They created that and they created the world wide web on which the HTML basically worked. And as you're able to see, this is the world's first website guys. The screenshot that I'm having right over here, this is the world's first website. You will be able to see this, that it contains no images. It contains no color, nothing else. It just contained texts and links guys. If you click on this particular link, it will take you to another website on just hypermedia information related to that particular word itself. Have you guys seen such type of websites before this? Because there'll be one example. We have seen websites such as this guys. Could you guys let me know? I'm very sure that you guys are familiar with Wikipedia. Please let me know guys. Have you guys, are you guys familiar with Wikipedia itself? Please let me know. Right? Many of you guys must have used Wikipedia as well. If you guys have not, then that was the place where we copied our answers and essays from when we were in school. Okay. So in Wikipedia as well, there's just text and links that are there. If you click on a link, it will take you to a new page on that particular topic itself. That is what they created. 
and that is how the process of sharing research papers sharing information itself increased drastically and that was where the internet was actually born so html or hypertext markup language it was the language that was created to create these websites html think about html as the skeleton of your body itself guys okay as the skeleton of your body the skeleton provides you a structure the content to your body itself every human will look different but the skeletons almost look the same right because that provides your body with a unique structure itself that is what html was for these websites it provided these websites with content it provided these websites with a structure with a basic structure itself so think about html as the skeleton of these websites now let me show you guys some of the other websites back in the day guys this was the microsoft's official website that was created just using html guys this is the microsoft's official website created just using html so as you are able to see there is not a lot of colors there is not a lot of uh, like images on the uh, website itself it does not look good is this a website that you look at and see as if like oh this is an amazing website it looks so good i want to use this website again and again do you guys feel that it looks very gibberish it looks very like unorganized itself it does not look pretty it does not look good right over there right guys please let me know so this was a problem as soon as many many companies started coming out many other websites started coming out now people had to choose between websites now they will choose a website that looked better right but html was not able to provide it to these websites html was just like a skeleton that's it of these websites so for that another technology was introduced that is called as the css okay css or the cascading style sheets guys okay CSS or the cascading style sheets. Okay, that was introduced. Now, this cascading style sheets were basically used to make your website look beautiful. For example, your HTML is the skeleton of your body, right? Your skin, your facial hair, the kind of tattoos. So for example, I have a lot of tattoos right over here. So, kind of tattoos that you have. Okay, the kind of accessories that you wear, the kind of uh, specs that you have, the kind of hairstyle that you are having, the kind of clothes that you wear itself, that makes you uh, attractive, that makes you unique, that makes you beautiful, right? Even your makeup as well. For girls, it is makeup. For by guys, it is just water on our faces, right? So, are you guys able to understand this? Please let me know. it makes your website look beautiful that is the reason why css was introduced it was used to style a website that's amazing yoga yograj as ex exactly to make your website beautiful so right over here as you are able to see this is the yahoo's website back in 1998 that was created just using html and css guys back in 1998 just using html and css as you are able to see it is having images it is having a little bit more organized structure a beautiful structure itself it is better than the microsoft's website right more images more colors properly organized everything properly in a much more beautiful styled manner itself okay so that was the duty of css okay to make sure that it is able to beautify your website itself now with time that was not the only thing that customers wanted customers wanted to interact with these websites as well okay they wanted that okay if you click on a button the color of a particular website changes you scroll on a website itself the macbook flips itself up and the things change animations happen all these things are happening on your website so that also was something that customers wanted from their websites and that is where javascript was introduced so let me guys uh, see a very good example that we have created for you guys let me find that example for you guys i hope so you will be able to understand the topic much more clearly after seeing that example give me a second guys let's find out so my team and me created this example right over there so i'm having a as you are able to see i'm having a lot of downloaded files i'm trying to find that particular particular file itself you will be able to understand the concept very clearly looking at this so this is understanding html css and javascript guys okay html is like the skeleton of your body 
CSS is like the katanas that it will have, the costume that he wears, the guns that he carries around with him that makes him look good. JavaScript is the dynamism or the action for your website. Leaning on a button, the entire website, uh, the color of the website changes. The MacBook flips itself. The uh, website is able to do some stuff for you. That is why JavaScript provides a dynamism to your website. So using this example, you will be able to sediment in your mind that what is the use of HTML? What is the use of CSS and what is the use of JavaScript? We are going to see some popular websites right now. If we remove JavaScript from it, what will happen? If we remove CSS from it, what will happen? We're going to see that right now, guys. So are you guys able to understand this particular concept itself of HTML, CSS and JavaScript first of all? Then we'll move on to the examples, guys. Are you guys able to understand this? Please let me know. Yes. <clears throat> Great. Amazing, guys. Amazing. So let's look at some of the examples that I wanted to share with you. Let me open up our website, guys. Let me put it up on the right hand side of my screen and your chat on the left hand side. Okay. So what I've done is I've, I'm going to install a Chrome extension called as the web developer Chrome extension guys. Okay. Web developer Chrome extension. D E V E L O P E R extension. Okay. So I'll search for web developer extension or web developer Chrome extension itself. From there, you will be able to go to the first particular link itself, guys. And from there, you will be able to see you can install this particular extension in the Chrome. I've already done it for me. So I was just going to open this particular Chrome extension right over here. As you're able to see, this is the Chrome extension that you are able to see right over here, guys. This is uh, going to help us to disable JavaScript, to disable CSS from our websites, guys. So what we're going to do right over here is let us open some popular websites. For example, Netflix.com. Many of you guys use Netflix, right? Or maybe you are familiar with Netflix. So when you open up Netflix, you guys can hover over a particular item and it will show you some more information over it. It will start playing the trailer for you. If you scroll a little bit down below, it will load up more particular items for you right over here, right? It loads up more particular items for you. So what I'm going to do is first of all, I'm going to uh, disable JavaScript guys that what will Netflix website look like without any JavaScript? What will happen in the application? So I'm going to select my web developer Chrome extension. I'm going to click on disable JavaScript guys. I'm going to click on disable JavaScript from right over here. I'm going to reload my website guys. I'm going to reload my website as we're able to see right over here guys that if I'm hovering over a particular item, <coughs> it is not responding. It is not getting bigger and is not showing me the trailer. No more new videos are loading up for me. No more new videos are loading up for me. Okay. Let us do one thing. Let us go to Instagram.com guys. Let us go to Instagram.com. Instagram.com won't even load up without JavaScript guys. Instagram.com won't even load up without JavaScript. As you're able to see right over here. It is not even loading up without JavaScript. The same will happen with Facebook. It will not even load up without JavaScript. The same will happen with your uh, YouTube as well. It will not even load up without JavaScript. Okay. That is how important JavaScript is. Let us see what happens if I disable CSS. Okay. I will go back to my, uh, so let us look at uh, Apple's website. Let us enable CSS guys. Let us enable CSS and let us go to Apple's website. So this is the Apple's website right over here. Let us look at the, uh, what should I see? The app iPad or the MacBook? Let's go to MacBook Pro. Okay. Let us look at MacBook Pro itself guys. Okay. So this is the MacBook Pro. Let us go to the 14 and the 16 inch version. This is their website. As you're able to see the things are moving right over here. I, as I'm scrolling down the Apple's, uh, MacBook is coming up right over there. This is some animations, the M1, M2 animations that are there, right? All the things are coming up right over here. If I'm scrolling a little bit more, more animation, more animation right over here as well. All these things are happening right over here, right? As you're able to see. The MacBook is doing all these different shady stuff right over here. <laughs> okay. So what will happen if we disable JavaScript guys? Okay. Let us disable JavaScript right over here guys. And let us reload this exact same page. This is Apple's website without any JavaScript guys. As you're able to see, there is no animation on the website. 
there's no video there's no animation that is working right over here everything is just static nothing is happening this is just a website that has just html and css no javascript to it okay so let us look at what happens if we disable css from these websites let us go to web developer let us uh, enable our javascript let us reload our page so this is our javascript uh, this is our netflix website normal netflix website guys everything working absolutely fine hovering over a particular thing everything is working absolutely fine let us disable css guys okay CSS disable all styles. This is Netflix website without any CSS guys. How do you like it right now? <laughs> How do you like it right now guys? This is CSS website, uh, it's Netflix website without any CSS. Do you like it? Would you still use it? Would you still use it guys? <laughs> Not good, right? Same, let's go for Apple's website. Let us disable our CSS guys. Let us go to Apple's website, disable all styles. This is Apple's website without any CSS. This is Apple's website without any CSS guys. Let's see what happens with Netflix website guys. Let us see what happens with, in, sorry, Instagram. This is our Instagram profile guys. Okay, this is our Instagram profile right over here of Deptown as you are able to see. This is the Deptown's uh, profile itself as you are able to see right over here. Okay, we post some uh, like memes all the time. So you guys can definitely participate in these memes as well. Let us disable our CSS from right over here. This is how the website Netflix, uh, sorry, Instagram looks like without any CSS. Now Instagram looks like without any CSS guys. You guys like it? No, right. So that is the point guys. That is the point that why CSS is so important because it beautifies your website. Now, many of you guys will be asking, so what about if we disable HTML? So can you remove the skeleton of a body itself? What will left? What will be left? If you remove, if you take up Deadpool and just remove the entire skeleton out of Deadpool itself, will something be left to see? No, nothing will be left, right? So you cannot remove HTML. HTML is the skeleton. It's the basic structure of the website itself. You can't remove that. Yes, you can remove the CSS as well as the JavaScript guys. Okay. As you're able to see, Vikas Negi see the pinned comment. Okay. Vikas Negi see the pinned comment itself. Okay. So that is the point guys. Are you guys able to understand why HTML, CSS and JavaScript is so important for us? Are you guys able to understand why HTML, CSS, JavaScript is so important for us guys? Right? Great. The next thing that we need to understand right over here is many of you guys will be confused. That okay sir, uh, but it's JavaScript and Java's. Like what is the difference between JavaScript and Java guys? So Java and JavaScript are as related to each other as apple and pineapple are okay both apple and pineapple have apple in their spelling both of them are fruits but they are not related to each other there is no relationship between java and javascript so the first name of javascript was live script guys when javascript was originally created it was called as live script but nobody was using it at Apple point of time. Everybody back in 1990s, everybody was using Java at Apple point of time. Java was the most popular, most in demand programming language back in 1990s. Not right now, not right now. Java is not at all, uh, like important, but JavaScript was originally called as live script. So just as a marketing tactic, just as a marketing tactic itself, JavaScript, uh, live script was renamed as JavaScript just as a marketing tactic. So people are able to confuse that maybe it is related to Java and they start using it. Now this marketing tactic actually worked so well right over there that right now the most in demand programming language, the most used programming language in the entire world itself is JavaScript. The most in demand, the most used programming language, the number one programming language in the entire world is JavaScript itself. At the second particular position, it is Python, another programming language, guys. 
हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑफ दी वेबसाइट इन दी एंटायर वर्ल्ड हंड्रेड परसेंट एनी वेबसाइट आइडिया और ओपनिंग अप यूजेस जावा स्क्रिप्ट एनी वेबसाइट एड यू गाइज आर यूजिंग एट एनी पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑफ दी वेबसाइट यूज जावा स्क्रिप्ट राइट विद दैट इज द रीजन वाई लर्निंग जावा स्क्रिप्ट इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर बूट कैम्प वी आर गोइंग टू state our focus towards just html and css we're going to have a lot many number of boot camps guys you don't have to worry about it there will be react boot camps back end boot camps devops cloud computing ai ml data science javascript boot camps so you don't have to worry about it okay great guys so now we're coming back to html guys now html like i said the full form of html what is the full form of html guys could you guys remind me what is the full form of html guys Could you guys re uh, remind me, guys? There's a quick revision. What is the full form of HTML, guys? Could you guys let me know? Hypertext markup language, amazing, guys! Amazing that you guys are remembering it. Just a quick revision to make sure that you guys are paying attention. Okay. So, hi. What do you mean by this markup language? What do you mean by this markup language itself? so many how many of you guys are marvel fans anybody who is a marvel fan like me or am i the only person who is the marvel fan right over here a nerd coming up to the class alone in the sea of students itself okay anybody who is a marvel fan guys so if you guys have uh, seen the uh, moon knight series right have you guys seen the moon knight series a very good series guys definitely give it a watch promoting marvel yeah okay <laughs> okay so moon knight was a very good series right over there maybe if you are not a marvel fan maybe you have seen indiana jones maybe you have seen the mummy that was also a very good movie right over there egyptian based movie any movie that is an egyptian based movie wherein some egyptian things were used right over there if you guys have ever seen an egyptian based movie wherein so there were some references to egypt okay you guys must have observed something called as the egyptian hieroglyphs you must have seen these type of uh, structures on the egyptian pyramids or on the walls itself these are called as egyptian hieroglyphs itself guys these are called as egyptian hieroglyphs in this particular hieroglyphs as you are able to see they don't use a lot of text they use a lot of images a lot of symbols itself symbols such as these okay, as you are able to see right over here they use a lot of symbols such as these guys have you guys seen this please let me know have you seen such type of symbols instead of some movie or something like that right so this is also referred to as a markup language what about uh, so many of you guys if, even if you have not seen this you guys use emojis right many of you guys are currently using it in the live chat as well you guys use emojis right emojis is also a type of markup language itself so what do you mean by that okay i am able to understand some examples of markup language but what do i mean by that itself so why do you use emojis if i say the exact same sentence using different emojis the meaning of that sentence will change okay if i write what are you doing okay Okay, I'm so sorry, Abhishek. I don't know the exact pronunciation. So heliographs. Okay, thank you so much for uh, letting me know. Okay, so uh, like I said, guys. So I can say the exact same sentence in a very different manner itself using uh, emojis, right? What are you doing? I will put two angry emojis after that. So I'm angry. What are you doing right over there? If I put two laughing emojis after that, what are you doing? Laughing emojis. And like in the funny way, what are you doing? Okay. Okay, if I put up the smirk emoji, like something like this. Okay, a smirk emoji right over there, and I'm teasing somebody. Okay, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing right over there? So using different emojis, you are able to change. You are able to add a little bit more information to the exact same text. The text is not changing right over there. You are able to add a little bit more knowledge, a little bit more information. to the exact same text the text is able to communicate a little bit more than just the text itself that is what is called as markup language wherein you are able to provide a little bit more information than just using directly the text itself are you guys able to understand this please let me know what is the markup language just 
something to add a little bit more information to the already existing text right over there. That is what is called as a markup language, guys. Now, HTML is also a markup language, but instead of using emojis or heliographs, as somebody pointed out that I'm speaking it wrong. So instead of using heliographs, uh, Okay, a lot of people are changing. So I also don't know how to pronounce. So I hope that you are able to understand what I'm speaking. Okay, so the instead of using heliographs or using uh, your um, emojis, we use something called as tags. Okay, in HTML, guys, we use something called as tags in HTML. And that is what we are going to see tomorrow that how can we use these tags in HTML to add a little bit more information to the already existing text, guys. Are you guys able to understand everything up till this many point of time? We are going to look everything practically from tomorrow. It's just a basic knowledge. I want you guys to understand it right over here. Are you guys able to understand everything that we learned in today's class, guys? Please let me know. Are you guys able to understand everything that we learned in today's class, guys? Please let me know. Okay. Healy. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, are you guys able to understand everything that we learned up to this point of time in today's class? Was it too difficult for you? Am I going in the right direction? Right guys, I'm starting from the at most scratch. I'm trying to make sure that there is no prerequisites for this bootcamp guys. You don't need to know anything from the start itself. But are you guys able to understand everything that I'm teaching? There's no issues, right? There's no issues whatsoever. My pace is also correct, right? I'm not going too fast or too slow for you guys, right? Great. Okay, that is my aim, guys, to make sure that you are able to understand. That is my aim. So I'm going in the right direction. That is good. The second only thing, guys, I'm able to see some questions. So if you guys haven't registered for this bootcamp, guys, okay? If you guys haven't registered for this bootcamp, do not worry about it. I'll be sharing the attendance in the next 15 minutes. Okay, you guys can just fill the attendance. I'll take that as your registration itself. Will that be fine? Please let me know. No issues, guys. If you haven't registered for this bootcamp, there's no issues in that. Just fill up today's attendance itself. Fill up the attendance every single day. You will still get your certificates. Will that be fine? Great. Amazing, guys. The third particular thing, guys. So right now, I'm going to tell you guys how to fill up your attendance. How is the attendance going to be taken place? What is the criteria of getting your attendance as well? All these steps and process for the attendance I'm going to get, let you guys know right now. Please focus upon it very well because if you are missing out on the steps of the uh, attendance itself, you will be missing out on the attendance. You will not be able to get your certificates. Okay, please listen to me very carefully. So before going to attendance, guys, I would like to thank you guys for joining this particular session. It is amazing that you guys are coming right over here, dedicating yourself to learn because Everywhere in the entire world, I've seen this that students don't like to learn. Okay, you guys are coming to the boot camp. You guys are learning right over here. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Okay, learning, gaining knowledge is something that will help you grow, and that is what you are going right doing right over there. Okay, good. The next really thing, guys. So in this particular session, at the end of the boot camp, up to the end of the seven days. Depending upon daily attendance that I will be giving you guys, you'll be giving your certificates from Amazon, Google and uh, Diptown itself. We have other certificates as well. We have certificates via Amazon. We have certificates via Postman. We have certificates via GitHub. That is related to some other uh, things that we continuously do for this particular bootcamp. It will be Google, Microsoft and Diptown that you'll be receiving these certificates from. I would like to ask you for a small favor guys, if you guys can help me out with that. Okay, so if it is possible, guys, please do like the video and subscribe to the channel before moving further. The reason for that is very simple. So to be able to get these certificates for free and to be able to give you guys these certificates from Google, Microsoft for free itself, we have to showcase to these uh, companies that the students are actually enjoying the classes. The students are actually coming to the classes. They are learning something right over here. They're becoming a part of this community itself. So we have to showcase this. Now, if you are helping me out with this, it becomes very easy for me to approach these companies, approach many other companies as well, get you guys more number of certificates right over here in these boot camps. So if it is possible before moving further with attendance, if it is possible, could you guys like the video and subscribe to the channel? 
it will take less than a minute guys you just have to scroll a little bit down there are just two buttons right over there you just have to click it it will help me a lot because it becomes easier for me to convince these companies to give you guys the certificates for the next boot camps as well guys so please make sure can we take an aim of at least 1300 likes and subscribes guys please let me know can we take up an aim of 1300 likes and subscribes guys please let me know guys can we take up an aim of 1300 likes and subscribe please let me know so as soon as we reach our target of 1300 likes and subscribes i'll be giving you guys the attendance as well in the meanwhile let me explain you guys the attendance process so every single day i will be giving you guys some time randomly in the middle of the class i'll be giving you guys a google form i'll be giving you guys the google form in the live chat itself in that google form you have to fill up your details like your email address your name okay that will be taken up for your attendance itself and students will be having seven out of seven days of attendance okay students will be having seven out of seven days of attendance will be given these certificates at the end of the boot camp itself guys so you will have to attend the sessions live every single day you will have to come to the classes live every single day to get these certificates otherwise we will not be able to get them will that be fine guys please let me know Will that be fine guys? Please let me know. Yes. So anywhere in the middle of the class, I'll be giving guys five minutes to fill up your attendance. If you are not able to fill your attendance in those five minutes, you will not be able to get your certificates. So you have to come to the class live itself. You, the videos will be available to you guys with lifetime access of these boot camps. But to get your certificates, you will have to come live to the class every single day at the same time as today. Okay, so right now I'm going to create your attendance guys. Okay, it will take me two minutes to create your attendance. While I'm creating the, yes, Omnicon Gaming, the class will start at the exact same time. While I'm creating your attendance itself guys, make sure that you guys are able to take up the likes and subscribes to at least 1400 itself. Okay, so 400 more likes and subscribes guys, I know you guys will be able to do it. So in the meanwhile, while you guys are doing the like and subscribe to the class, I will be creating the attendance for you guys. Will that be fine? Okay, so while you guys are liking the video and subscribe to the channel, let the other students know to do that as well guys. So I will be creating your attendance in the meanwhile. Give me a second guys. It will take me two to three minutes to create your attendance itself guys. Okay creating your attendance please do like the video and subscribe to the channel in the meanwhile okay, our aim is 1400 likes and subscribes we are almost 300 away from target guys we are almost 300 away from target while you guys are reaching the target i will be creating the attendance in the meanwhile so we are able to work simultaneously okay so while you guys so we are somewhere around uh, 300 away from the target itself guys try to make sure we are able to achieve our target before giving you guys the certificate sorry the attendance for today's class right when i'm creating your attendance make sure you guys are able to like and subscribe to the class if this will be the attendance guys that you're able to see you have to fill in the email address please use the same email id for the entire seven days of classes Do not change your email ids guys we use the email ids to see if the student has attended the seven days of classes or not please use the exact same email id Guys, if you're changing the email ID, we will not be able to give you guys the certificate. You have to use the exact same email ID for the seven days of attendance itself, guys. Okay. The name that you will be putting up right over here, that is the name that will show up on your certificates. Okay. So whatever name that you're putting up, make sure that you're putting up properly itself. Okay. So that is some of the things that I want you guys to understand it right over there. Okay. Uh, secondly, guys, if you want to connect with me personally, Okay, I'm the mentor right over here. If you want to connect with me personally, you can definitely do that. I provided the link to my LinkedIn as well as my Instagram account down in the description of the video itself. So if you guys check up the description of today's video, you will be able to find out uh, the link to both my LinkedIn profile as well as my Instagram account as well. So if you guys want to connect with me professionally or else if you want to connect with me uh, personally as well, you guys can connect with me on LinkedIn and Instagram. So this is the video that you guys are currently watching. In the description of the video, you will be able to see connect with your mentor. Okay. I provided you guys both my LinkedIn account as well as my Instagram account as well, guys. So it will be great to connect with you guys right over here. 
currently i am at somewhere around 40457 people that are in my connections itself it will be great to connect with you guys you guys can message me related to your problems or any help that you guys need any mentorship that you guys need i'll help you guys with that as well i want to make sure that we all are connected at one particular pace and we are able to interact with each other and we are able to grow from that as well that is the aim of dev town the name dev town development town itself we want to create a community that is just focused towards growth of their students so definitely guys you can connect with me on linkedin or on instagram as well it will be great to connect with you guys to be able to talk to you guys so the links is already provided you guys in the description definitely reach out to me guys now i'll be sharing the attendance link with you okay now i'll be sharing the attendance link with you guys okay please try to understand it that if you guys are seeing an error such as a uh, traffic error okay a lot of traffic you are not able to open up the link you have to refresh the website reload the website itself that's it are you guys able to understand this please let me know if you are able to see an error that there's a traffic error there's a uh, you are not able to open up the link itself you just have to refresh the website guys that's it you just have to refresh the website okay so what do you have to do could you guys let me know if you are facing an error you are not able to open up the uh, like attendance what do you have to do please let me know what do you have to do please let me know you have to refresh the website okay you have to reload the website itself that's it that is how it will start working once again so now that i will be giving guys the attendance link okay please fill it properly today you will be having 10 minutes to fill out your attendance because this is the very first day i am giving guys 10 minutes to fill out your attendance to figure out that everything is working properly itself from tomorrow onwards in the start of the class itself i can give up the attendance for just 5 minutes i can give up the attendance anywhere in the middle of the class for 5 minutes if you are missing out on a single attendance you will not be able to get your certificates so today many of you guys joined us very late at the end of the class from tomorrow onwards if you are not there from the start of the class itself you will not be able to fill up your attendance and if you are not filling up your attendance you will not be able to get your certificate so i want to be very clear with it okay see guys there is no uh, uh there is no like rush for anything we have a lot of time the classes will go on for 60 to 90 minutes right now even 60 minutes haven't get over okay so attendance whenever it will be my mood to give you guys the attendance i'll be giving you guys a double point of time okay so do not worry about it right now if i feel if i feel like not giving you guys the attendance i'll close the session right over here that is something that is of my particular will itself okay so why i'm saying this again and again for attendance is because of the fact that many of the students at the end will come and tell me that sir i missed my attendance but i didn't get my certificates what is the case why am i not receiving your certificates the reason is because you are not filling the attendance on time okay so today the attendance will be open for 10 minutes guys i have not yet provided you guys with the link i will be providing you guys with the link right now okay <clears throat> so at exactly uh, 909 the attendance link will be closed i provided you guys with the attendance guide exactly 909 the attendance link will be closed guys at exactly 909 the attendance link will be closed guys Okay, it's exactly ten minutes. The attendance link will be closed. Please start filling up your attendance right now. Exactly ten minutes. The attendance link will be closed, guys. Okay. Exactly ten minutes. The attendance link will be closed. Please start filling up your attendance right now itself, guys. In exactly ten minutes, the attendance will be closed itself, guys. Okay, make sure you're coming to the class tomorrow on time. Otherwise, you will be missing out on the attendance. I don't want that for you guys. I want you guys to get the certificates as well, right? So I provided you guys with the attendance thing live in the class at exactly nine minutes. The attendance will be closed. Okay, in exactly nine minutes, the attendance will be closed. Set an alarm for nine zero nine. In exactly nine minutes, guys, the attendance thing will be closed. Guys, please start filling up your attendance. As you're able to see, people have started filling up their attendance as well. Set an alarm for nine zero nine. 
And exactly nine minutes, guys. The attendance link will be closed, guys. Make sure you are able to fill up your attendance before that. Also, if you guys want to uh, approach me, want want to connect with me personally, I've already provided you guys with the LinkedIn as well as my Instagram ID. You guys can approach me from right over there. It will be great to talk to you guys. It will be great to connect with you guys as well. I've already provided the link to the Instagram account as well as the link to the LinkedIn account of mine down in the description of the video. You guys can definitely approach me from right over there. It would be great to connect with you guys, talk to you guys as well. Okay, I hope to see you guys very soon right over there. Make sure you are able to fill up your attendance right over there, guys. I've already provided you guys with the attendance link as well. Okay, so for those who are able to fill up their attendance, do uh, send me a connection request on LinkedIn or on Instagram as well. It will be great to talk to you guys. It will be great to connect to you guys as well. The links are down in the description of the video itself. Okay. So thank you so much guys. We'll meet in the next class tomorrow. So Nashad, I registered for the internship. That's great Nashad. I hope to see you guys very soon in the class. Okay. Thank you so much guys. We'll meet in tomorrow's class and we'll be continuing from right over there. It was not submitting. It was showing some error. You have to just reload the page. Okay. Thank you so much guys. Uh, I will meet in tomorrow's class. Please be on time in tomorrow's class itself guys. In the meanwhile, if you guys want to connect with me personally, I have provided you guys with the link to my LinkedIn ID as well as my Instagram ID down in the description of the video. Do reach out to me guys. It will be great to connect with you guys and talk to you guys as well. Thank you so much guys. I will be continuing from tomorrow's class. Please be on time. Good day. Good evening. Good night. Whatever the case is. Okay. Thank you so much guys. Thank you guys. Bye guys. Bye. Bye guys. Bye.